Oh. I was hoping that the monster guide would be like an uh, entry in my book. No, it's a different book. Like, it shouldn't be just like its own tab though, don't you think? Whatever. Also, I actually needed to check this. Uh, okay, there is a save button right there. There appears to be a recovery point set up over there. Let's use it if our HP and... EP? <sighs> EP does not exactly roll off the tongue. What is that short for? I was probably just told, but I don't remember. Monster at 12 o'clock! Be careful not to let them take advantage of your blind side. Cannot be seen from far away. Uh, conditions to start the battle will change depending on how a monster is engaged. From behind is advantageous, while from be being attacked from behind is bad. Yep, that is useful. Uh, yep, I can just, um... Mm -hmm. Selecting the outer branch target will move as close as possible to it, but no attack will be performed. I think the circle is where I can attack, maybe? Like, it's not my range, I know that. But, like, if I was standing there, right where the arrow is, I think I would be able to hit the edge of the circle. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Of course, then there's areas where the circle goes out, and then that logic doesn't really hold up so well. <sighs> well, anyway. It is a lot easier to choose a position if I rotated it like this, though. Uh, he seems to... Hmm... Joshua seems to be faster than Estelle. Yeah, just out of range. Oh, I think the monster dropped something. Oh, hey, sounds like we're good to go. And we get set. Cannot rotate down here. Here comes some more! Depending on the enemy, some physical attacks may be ineffective. Let's use arts, not physical attacks. Long range, you say? Well, let's try it, I suppose. Effective against foes who are difficult to hit with a weapon or with high defense. Uh, I feel like air will be effective here. That is my impression at least. Time magic is faster. I guess that makes some sense. Still, so, let's try using crafts this time around. This crafts. Have other effects besides just doing the damage, they're worth a shot, right? Roger, Roger. Uh, dealing damage or receiving it. Meaning it is more reusable.
pop. And this is basically a limit break, I think. Plus strength. Come on. <laughs> Dual strike. The one where I attack twice. Also, it dropped treasure. Also, cut that out. Good to go. Reviving ball. Oh, what a surprise! Another creepy thing. I wish there were an easier way to take care of them. One blow using an S craft for S break should do the trick for just about any enemy. Yep. Hmm. They can, but as far as I know right now they can't. It's something it's something that future me might be able to do. Oh, that's right. It's like, that's right. I remember this. It's super because it can interrupt an enemy. I've used it by mistake, actually. <laughs> Here I come. Yeah! I'm not actually totally 100% sure what the button is for that, if I'm being honest. Okay, I just do that, right? Probably a waste of a super move. But it looks cool, so it's fine. Let's move out. So that's the treasure chest we're after, eh? If we made it this far. The rest is going to be a piece of cake. Hmm. During battle, there are several bonuses which can be allotted to turns. Turn bonuses have the same effect, no matter what. Aspect to ignore the battle order makes it easy to jump in and strip and steal a turn bonus. But I've already blown my... I've already blown my S chariot, as it were. <laughs> Um... Let's take out these first. Ow. Stop that! <laughs> That hurts, you know? Hey. Oh hey, I healed some HP. Cool. Uh, that one. It is... 
my CP is actually going up pretty quickly. Hmm. Cool. No! No, Estelle! You missed! Don't worry. Joshua's here to fix your terrible mistake. For sure it would attack me there. Well, whatever. Oh, you actually weren't close enough. <laughs> okay, and we win! Alright, we're good to go. Got some XP off of that one. We're like almost halfway to leveling up. Almost hit that elusive level four. Um, we got a crisp onion? Oh, that sounds like something for cooking. Maybe we should take a look at these, these things. A large onion with a nice crunchy texture with almost no to eat, be eaten like an apple. Uh, figuring out how to eat it requires some ingenuity. Wait, we're actually going to be cooking in this game, aren't we? That's terrific. Weapons, armor, healing, quartz, items, ingredients, books. Small box times two. Remember, Estelle, our mission is to search and retrieve only. I'm pretty sure looking in those boxes does not fall under our mission objective. You're no fun at all, Joshua. This has nothing to do with our mission. It's what I like to call good, honest curiosity. You know, we're the only ones down here. We can get away with a teen CP, CP right? If you feel like flanking is today's test, then by all means, be my guest. Yes, yes you did. Yep, opening up one of those boxes could result in automatic fail for the both of us. If this were a real job, the contents of those boxes would belong to the client. And as long as there's nothing illegal, we should have no right to open them. I know you're right, Joshua, but I just can't help myself. If you absolutely have to know what's inside, why not ask once we get back? But for now, we need to focus on getting out of here! Alright, alright. But first, by looking inside this chest of game, you flunk! Just kidding. The chest is empty, because of you. Nice work, hero. Terrific. Just terrific. Yeah, let's heal up. Restore! I think CP probably maxes out at 100. That is my impression. That is my feeling. Good work, you two. As a rule of training, I'm going to need to confirm these items in your possession. Yep, they're the real deal, alright. I should have looked at them in my inventory. I didn't think of that. Oh well. I don't see any evidence of tampering, either. No kidding. I figured she would try and set it up like that. Congratulations to the both of you! You have successfully passed your first qualification test. Uh, I mean, your only qualification test. Definitely. <laughs> your only one. 
So, uh, Shira, what's in those boxes? Anyway. That's enough chit chat for now. Let's get back to work. You two still have some things left to do. You still have to learn about how to report your results. I'm aware that you're both tired, but this is no time to shirk your duties. Now let's get back to the guild. When indeed. Oh well, no sense giving up when the finish line's in sight. Your final training is how to report to the guild. Whenever you finish a job, it is your duty to report the results of your work. Reporting how you resolve the situation and the steps you took to get there are part of your job as a bracer. You can report your results to the front desk in each guild branch. And as you already know by now, Aina is in charge of the roulette branch. In addition, this is where you will be paid for your work. I look forward to seeing great things from the both of you. Now we're here when you both go ahead and report the results. Hmm. We did it! Yay! We were not paid. But hey! We are officially Junior Bracers! Huzzah! <laughs> Depending on how you handle a job, you may see an increase or decrease in the amount of pay you receive. When you report the results of your work to the guild, pay in the form of Mira isn't the only thing you will receive, either. You will also accumulate points, which are known as Bracer Points. BP! Beach Points! Battle Points! <laughs> there are a mark of endearment and achievement. If you get, collect enough, you can rank up. And special equipment. Gotcha. <sighs> Interesting. All that's left to do now is finalize your training. Let's head back upstairs, shall we? I'll talk to you later, Raina. And I'm sorry about putting more work on your plate. <laughs> the bone. Let me say it again. Good work, you two. Especially Joshua. You have now officially completed the entire training course. From now on, you will learn from your own real-world experience. Well then. The very same. You seemed awfully curious to find out what was inside this cell. Why don't you take a look? Are you saying it's okay to open them? Yes, yes, I'm saying it's okay to open them. Why don't the both of you have a look and see what's inside? Sweet! Junior Bracer Emblem. Ahem! Estelle Bright! Joshua Bright! Beginning today, at 1500 hours, you are both hereby appointed as Junior Bracers within the Bracer Guild! From here on, you will work as members of the Bracer Guild to support the livelihood of those around you, defend peace, and uphold justice. Congratulations, and welcome to the fold! For you, maybe. <laughs> I think it might have sunk in a little bit too early for Estelle, although the excitement is certainly boiling up now. Uh... LOOK AT US, WORLD! 
We did it! Something like that. If I shout any louder than that, I will actually uh, peek my microphone, so I don't really want to. Um. Uh, poor Joshua. I hate to interrupt the celebrations and style, but I need to take off now. I have some backed up work that needs my immediate attention. Immediate attention. Yeah. Um, we understand. You have been spending a lot of extra hours working with us during this busy time for the guild. Before you head out, Shara, I just want to say thanks. Likewise, I appreciate all the trouble you've gone through for us, Shara. Don't mention it. Training new recruits is one of the Bracer's many duties. Believe it or not, I was once in your shoes a long time ago, when your father trained me. There's actually a little more to it than that, but uh, I'll save that story for another day. As for the both of you, work hard to become full-fledged members early on so you can help the guild help guide those new recruits who come after yourself. And in time, I hope to see you both become respectable bracers like your father. Anyway, I'll leave you with that thought. This is Sherazard, aka the Silver Streak, one of the most skilled young bracers we're talking about. So why is that she holds dad in such high esteem? He just seems like nothing more than a no-good middle-aged man who's always out doing who knows what. Hmm. He did save Joshua's life, after all. At least, presumably. Took him into his home, patched up his wounds, adopted him as, as his own son. He did a lot for Joshua, is what I'm saying. Okay, and on that note, we have now reached the point where I have no experience in this game. This... This right here is where I played to last time. So, uh, let's do a few different things. Uh, no, no, that's not, uh, oh, hey. It tells me the items. Cool. Uh, perceive enemy status, level eight. That seems really useful. See enemies from a distance, 10% chance to petrify enemies, make enemies ignore you, 10% chance to critically strike, 10% chance to kill enemies, immune to status effects, cover CP. Wait, there, that's what I wanted to see. Uh... Hmm. Okay, there's something else I wanted to do. Wait. Cool. Let's try this as fool also. Double fool. Now. You see, I don't even I do not even have a save slot. That <laughs> that just speaks for itself, I think. Oh, I guess there's some auto saves in here actually, aren't there? Nothing past where I am right now though. I think these are all from today even. Do you have auto saves from nope. They're all from today. This is yeah. Um <laughs> There's no identifying information in there, is there? Uh, no. Good. Just the time and date. I can live with that. And I took literally twice as long to get here than it did the, on my test run. Hmm. Okay then. 